Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Spill the D. I'm Rick, one of your hosts, and I'm joined, as always, with my beautiful co-host, Gina. How are you? I am thriving. How are you? I'm doing great. We had a great episode that we just finished recording, Disney Parks Snack Draft. Um, we did go live for this one. Uh, so this is a pre-recording, I guess you could say. If you're not following us on Instagram, go follow us. We do go live and do fun stuff like this from time to time. And we did use the listener some uh, the listeners' opinions on some to break some tiebreakers. Yes. So we did a bracket, like a March Madness mm-hmm. style bracket. And if we couldn't agree on which one was better, we had the listeners vote on mm-hmm. which one was better to decide what is the best snack at Walt Disney World. We had some really great ones and some really great conversations with the listeners. I'm going to be um, editing the episode into here, so it won't. You hopefully won't really be able to tell how much we were talking with them. We'll be able to. Um, it should flow smoothly mm-hmm. if all is done correctly. So we'll <laughs> see. But before we go into that episode, before you hear who us as well as the listeners decided is the number one Disney park snack, we have a piece of Disney news for you. Yeah. So Disney has a new deal that I want to share because I think it's a phenomenal deal. So this deal is actually for the holiday season. It is going for, you can save up to 30% on rooms for most nights from November 24th to December 25th. Wow. Yeah. So up to 30%. Literally, it was like 20% of the All-Stars, I'm pretty sure, which is very good. Now... They also are doing, they just have referred to as other savings for most nights from October 6th to November 21st. I looked those up, just about all of them are 10%, which is okay. savings, but not as good as if you were to go from yeah. November 24th to December 25th. Here's where the really good part of this deal comes in. If this is something that you're interested in, if you were going to get Park Hopper for your vacation, it's now free. If you go at this time and use this deal, Park Hopper will be included. So if you take advantage of this offer and upgrade to a room and ticket package, it needs to include a non-discounted four-day date-based theme park ticket. Now, it says non-discounted, but it can be with this discount, this 30% or this 10%. Mm -hmm. You'll get the Park Hopper ticket. You do need to have a four-day base ticket. Sometimes they'll put a number out there, and it doesn't actually matter. Like, you actually have to. I looked and I tested it around online. It does need to be a four-day ticket. But this is a great deal that I highly, highly recommend you looking at. Like I said, October 6th to November 21st or November 24th to December 8th. I keep seeing this gap in that one weekend, and I can't figure out why. Yeah, It's not Thanksgiving. No. And what worries me is that it's the weekend that we're going to be there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen this a few times from Disney and I don't know why huh. it's not going to affect us though I no but I'm worried about the crowds if they're not willing to give a discount that's true hmm. if you know why they're doing this please tell me <laughs> she's stressing now I'm like just really concerned that I picked the wrong weekend to go um, but yeah if you go December 9th to December 25th that's when it's going to be 30% up to 30% so Look into that great deal. If you are interested in booking this deal or if you're interested in having your current trip upgraded to this deal, make sure you contact our friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Co. We are the official podcast of 407 and Beyond Vacation Co. They're a Disney and Universal Orlando travel agency that books and plans family vacations to destinations such as Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, Disney Cruise Line, so much more. It doesn't cost any extra to book with them. Their services are 100% free, and their travel agents are going to do everything so you don't have to. They're going to plan this trip for you, get you this discount, get you that park hopper at no additional cost to you. So be sure to reach out to them and go get your free no obligation quote at 407vacations.com. Go book now. What? Go book now. I thought you said go book now. Go book now. And I was like, when did you become a book now fan? (laughs) Okay. All right, so let's go into the episode. So how this is going to work. Over the last few weeks on our Instagram story, I have asked the listeners what their favorite park snack is. Any park snack that was said multiple times, I kept track of, and that's how we did the seating. Mm -hmm. From that, we were able to get 16 snacks out of it, all of which are snacks that you can get at any time at Walt Disney World. It is not specific to 
a holiday season or it's not something that was there one time and never came back. They are specific to Walt Disney World. We actually weren't even able to use everybody's snacks because there are so many, which is really amazing. Yeah. Um, and then some of them are thrown in that are just the classics because I could, like ones that we might have had to take out from other people. I threw in some classics. So we we made it work. We are recording live with the listener. So what's going to happen is Rick and I are going to be discussing what we think should win between the two snacks. And when we can't decide, the listener is going to decide for us. Spoiler alert, it happens more often than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a lot of just us picking and moving on. The listeners did pick a lot, including our winner. So stay tuned to figure out who the winner is. That's it. I think we're good to go into it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So... Number one, you ready? Yeah, so our first matchup, it's a tough one. We have the spring rolls versus the churros. What do you think? I don't know where to put this. It's fine. Just leave it behind. (laughs) (laughs) We'll leave it right there, and I'll just turn around and write when I need to. Okay, spring roll versus churros. What are your thoughts? For the record, spring rolls was the number one seed in this draft. And that makes churros the number 16 seed. Yes. Spring rolls, spring rolls versus churro. I I know my answer. I'm going hard on the spring rolls here. I think I got to go spring rolls too, and I think my opinion might be different if the churros were the ones from Disneyland because I hear better things about those. But I haven't had many. I, I've had like one good churro in Disney World, I feel like. I had the ice cream churro, which when you put ice cream on a churro, it just makes it hard. So yeah, that's, it's not better. It's usually. not that No, better. but when they used to have that churro ice cream sandwich. I see. I never got that. It was so good. It was a churro that they like piped into a circle instead uh-huh. of a stick. And then uh, it was vanilla ice cream between two of them. Yeah, so I never got that. So good. Uh, and then the regular churros, like, they're okay, but they're nothing special. I like a churro that's very crunchy on the outside and very, like, cakey and soft on the inside. And theirs are very much crunchy throughout, which is just not my style churro. The spring rolls, you got every different flavor. You got buffalo chicken, you got steak, you got pepperoni. There's so many different flavors. Granted, in my opinion, they're very overpriced. However, they're delicious nonetheless. They're extremely overpriced, but honestly, so are the churros. A churro at Sam's Club is 99 cents. A churro at Disney is $7. (laughs) So like, and the Disney ones are half the size of the Sam's Club ones. I agree though. They're not consistently great. Mm Mm-hmm. The spring rolls, although they are expensive, are consistently great. I've never had a bad spring roll when I have decided to pay for them. <laughs> no, I completely agree with that. And honestly, I get the hype. And the variety of the spring rolls, too. While yeah. there is a variety of churro, there's more variety. Of, well, I can't say that. But while there is a variety of churro, the variety of the spring rolls are just scrumptious. Yes. And funny Ooh, enough. Scrumptious. scrumptious it's a good word. <laughs> Talking about snacks here. dilly <laughs> But... Funny enough, uh, the number one answer was not spring rolls. It was actually cheeseburger spring rolls specifically. Specifically the Specifically the cheeseburger. But I took everything and kind of made it broader to make it a little easier to work with. So cheeseburger is actually the favorite. That's fair because the pepperoni one gets really greasy. I like that they do. They'll usually have two at a time and one of them will be different. Mm -hmm. Like they'll keep the cheeseburger, but then they'll do like pastrami. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I like it too. The pastrami one was good too. <laughs> we don't get them often though because they're expensive. Because they're like ten dollars for yeah. two spring rolls, yeah. and the spring rolls should be like two dollars max. Have, our our financial minds have been tainted by Disney in the sense that we can go to a baseball game and think a beer's cheap, relatively speaking. However, five dollars for a spring roll is still too expensive. <laughs> still gets me. Although it is meat. Maybe we have to start thinking about it as like it's meat. No, it's too expensive. Meat's expensive. It's not. It's not. That much money. It shouldn't be anyway. Okay. Either way, I think we both just kind of agreed that the churro lost to the spring roll Yeah, spring roll for sure. Okay. Spring roll for sure. All right. Number one, spring rolls. All right, number two. Number two, we have the school bread versus the cupcake. Okay. Would you like to explain to everyone what the school bread is? Yes, the school bread was our eight seed and cupcake was our nine. Ooh, it's a tight one. It is a tight one. Uh, School bread is a... Pastry that you can get at the Norway Pavilion okay. at Epcot. Sorry, I had to had to think about it for a second. It's in the Norway Pavilion in Epcot. Uh-huh. It's coconut. It's like a coconut cream bread, kind of. Yeah, I'm not a fan of coconut. I'm not either. People who like this one, though, absolutely love this one. Uh-huh. I'm just not these people. 
Cupcake is going to dominate in my brain for this one because Disney cupcakes are delicious and the variety that you can get with a Disney cupcake, like it's different every time. And again, it falls in the same category as a spring roll of I've never been disappointed in a Disney cupcake. Yeah, all the cupcakes I've had are delicious. And for me, it's for me, it's no contest. If there's someone listening live right now who feels strongly in the direction of school bread and you want to write something down real quick and tell us why you think it's school bread, we can discuss it. But I don't think there's really a discussion in my mind. I think the cupcakes, like you said, there's too many, too much variety too many. and they're too delicious. What was the best Disney cupcake you ever had? The Stitch one. Oh, the cookies and cream one? Yeah, with Stitch on top. That yeah. one was fantastic. Mine was at Christmas time. I got this one. The that vanilla one. cupcake with a red velvet Mickey Mouse shaped cake ball inside of it. Oh. And then icing on the top. Actually, I think it was crumbled cake on the top with Ooh. icing that made it into a Christmas tree. It was a Christmas cupcake. Oh, okay. Fancy. So I'm. that was my best. And it was in Magic Kingdom. And it was delicious. Salted caramel sprinkles. Sprinkles cupcakes. Okay, like I at, so. yeah, 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 yeah. At, at Disney Springs, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, but the school bread, people do swear by it, but I don't. I'm not people. I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so yeah, <laughs> cupcakes so, it is. Yeah, so cupcakes are winning that one. Especially I, the cupcake uh, window that they have at Disney Springs. Someone actually just said that. that people They're are talking, talking about, about the, it it's the, the ATM. It's like where yeah. you go in. Where did I see one of those? I think they have it in New York also has them. Like it's a like a cupcake vending okay. machine. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, no, the cup and you can't beat a cupcake vending machine. You can't beat cupcakes at any hour of the day, honestly. No. So, all right, number two, cupcakes winning that one. All right, <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one. No, this is an easy one. Next up, we have Gaston cinnamon roll and a rice krispie treat. I think everybody who has been listening for an extended period of time knows how I feel about this one. So. Why don't you give us your explanation? <laughs> I love a Disney Rice Krispie treat. I really do. And I'm trying to decide if I think it's better than a guest on cinnamon roll. It's not. So here's I'll make my logic. Decision for you. It's not. Here's my logic. It's like it's so good. It's so versatile. There's multiple different types of rice krispie treats. It's Mickey shaped. You can't beat something that's Mickey shaped. You can take it home with you. Like, you can get multiple of them and bring them home. They're a perfect, perfect snack. See, but here's my opinion is if it's good enough, I'm not going to want to bring it home. I want to finish it on the No, spot. it's so good. <laughs> it tastes so good that you want to bring more home with you. Oh, I would love to bring a cinnamon roll home with so me. So you're going to bring a Rice Krispie treat because it's all wrapped up. Oh, when they dip it in the chocolate and then the mini M&Ms. Yeah, but a Gaston cinnamon roll with extra icing. Icing <laughs> when it's warm. Pro tip and secret for you guys: if you ask for extra icing, they will give it to you. Oh, okay. I think I'm losing this one based off what the listeners are saying. Although it does look like some people no, are agreeing it's, it's, that with the M and M, it's split. I think. Right yeah, now. put the chocolate and the M and Ms on it. Yeah. One more time for everybody listening: M um Rice Krispie Treat or Gaston's. You guys are going to have to decide this one because yes. I think we're split on this Even one. Even if you already sent it, can you send it again? Yeah, just send it again. Because we're like away from the thing, so it's hard for us to yeah, scroll cinnamon, back. Cinnamon roll or Rice Krispie Treat? And, and why Rice Krispie Treat? Because <laughs> it, it's correct. Rice Krispie. Yes! I, it, it's so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And sometimes it comes on a stick. Like, that just makes it delicious. <laughs> It comes on a stick and it's Mickey shaped. You can't beat that. You can if it's a cinnamon roll. No, we're I'm winning right I now. Know you are, but I just don't agree. I didn't see this coming. I'm not gonna go. lie. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Cinnamon roll. Okay, there I think go. the cinnamon roll one. Uh, okay, yep, cinnamon I, yeah. Roll. Oh, that was a good one. That, that was, was our, that was our first tough one. I think. Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Do you want to know where those were seated? Yeah. Let's hear. It. Okay, so the cinnamon roll was seated at number four. Ooh. And the Rice Krispie almost came from behind, seated at number 13. Ooh, that would have been like March Madness. That's what this whole thing is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure we're on the but same page. But there's always that one 13 seed that upsets the four <laughs> It's seed. the Rice Krispie. Not today. I'm glad that I'm not crazy that so many people just agreed how great it is. They're so good. And they last for so long. Like, you open it a week later and it's still just as good. 
I probably enjoy cinnamon but a week later. I remember Kiss Connections after Galaxy's Edge opened had like a bunch of Galaxy's Edge Rice Krispie treats because they made they like didn't sell as many as there were and I bought them in bulk. Like I was like walking out like with BB-8 <laughs> on a Rice Krispie. The fake icing they use to like make it look like stuff. Mm-hmm. So good. All right, next up we have the Mickey Premium Bar. For those that are not familiar, it's the better version of Mickey Ice Cream. <laughs> it's a Mickey ice cream bar. It's a Klondike bar with yeah, a stick. It's fantastic. And corn. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn. Uh, so this is the corn from Animal Kingdom, the uh, the street corn. Yeah, it's right outside of the safari. There's a stand that sells street corn. And honestly, I'm going with the corn. I'm also going to have to go with corn. Yeah? Uh, again, for anybody who's been listening for... An extended period of time, they know how I feel about street corn, especially from uh, what's it called in Hollywood Studios? <laughs> oh, <laughs> from Roundup Rodeo. From Roundup Rodeo. Yeah. This is just the same thing, just not. It's on the cob. Yeah. This is well. It. This is the stuff in Roundup Rodeo is too, but this is a full cob. Is it? Oh yeah. You know what? Okay. So the first time I went to Roundup Rodeo, it wasn't on the cob, yeah. and then the second time it was. So I kind of mixed them up in my head. Yeah. But. Yeah, street corn is just so good. Yeah, I love street corn. That might be like my favorite like snack ever. It's close. Should that like if you were making this bracket, would it have been number one? It would have been really close between that and the cinnamon roll. Okay, I respect it. I love a good street corn. It's like cheese and it's so butter. Good. And... Nothing beats a good street corn. <laughs> I don't know. I like. I just like things on sticks. So, like, when they put, like, meat on a stick. It... That's fair. A nice thick slice of bacon. Yeah. A lot of those places that sell the street corn are like, bacon on yeah. a stick. So good. It is really good. It's so good. Well, I guess that's a pretty pretty cut and dry one, then. Yeah, corn corn, corn kicks butt. Even the people who are listening yeah. live, <laughs> most of them said corn. So that worked out really well. <laughs> that's funny. All right. So we got one side of the bracket done. Yes. With the victors coming out as... The spring roll, the cupcake, the rice crispy. No, the, the Gaston s- cinnamon roll. And corn. Don't abuse your power and write rice crispy treat. No. All right, on to the other side. All right. This is a tough one for me. This is a really tough one. So the next one, which I don't know how these two ended up together. This is going to be real interesting. Is the Dole Whip. Versus the Pongo Lumpia. Lump- Pongo Lumpia. Yeah, and for those that don't know, the Pongo Lumpia is over in uh, Avatar in Pandora. And it's the pineapple snack. Yeah, it's like a pineapple rolled up in a tortilla. with There's cinnamon on it? There's just like sugar it's on it. Yeah. And it's served warm, which really threw me off. They're like cream cheese. It's like pineapple. Yeah, the filling is like a pineapple cream cheese filling. It's really good. I'm going Dole Whip. I I didn't like it that much. Like, it's really good, but like, I wanted it cold. And I feel like I would have liked it better cold. I know. I know it doesn't matter because I'm getting outnumbered hardcore right now by the listeners. But I think I would have to go with Panku Lupia. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter then because they're going to break our yeah, tie. because everybody is, is hardcore on Dole Whip right now, which, for the record, I don't not like Dole Whip, but if I'm going to get a Dole Whip, it's going to be the pineapple upside down, not the regular. Which also... Which is on... In its own spot on yeah, here, it's because it was spot. said so many times by listeners. Which is why I didn't choose that, and I'm going with the Punk Lupia. See, my thought with Dole Whip is that, first of all, it's a classic treat. It is. It, it, like, it's just a, a classic Disney treat. But the variety of flavors that you can get with Dolib also, I feel like it really puts it ahead. Like if you, even if you don't like pineapple, there's a, probably some kind of Dolib flavor that you're like and or some kind of swirl flavor uh-huh. that you'll like. And then, oh my gosh, any of them swirled with vanilla, how they get that like creamsicle yeah. taste. So good. It's good. Um, I think regular Dole Whip is kind of overrated though. Like a pineapple Dole Whip is general. overrated. Just like a cone of Dole Whip. I think it's overrated. Who gets Dole Whip in a cone? <laughs> well, however they give it to you. <laughs> they give it to you in a cone, don't they? No, it's in a cup. Yeah. Actually, I, I think you can get it in a cone at Polynesian. But I don't remember ever getting it in a cone in Adventureland. 
thought I remember getting it in a cone. Oh, now I'm questioning myself. I don't know. I like the orange one the best anyway. So, and it's got to be the orange Dole Whip, not the um, the one that they make with the orange juice. Uh, that yeah. is not it. Like, it's got to be the orange Dole Whip. Citrus uh, Swirl, that's it. The one that they make with the orange juice. Got to be just a plain orange Dole Whip. So much better. Yeah. Um, I disagree, but that's fine. I lost. Yeah, I you, you lost that one hard. Every single person except one said that Dole Whip is the winner. So, well. Me and that one person are the only right ones. <laughs> All right, so this is where I'm really going to struggle on this one. The Mickey ice cream sandwich. Oh, this one's easy. Or the Jack Jack cookie num num. Jack Jack cookie num num. You were really quick on that. I don't like ice cream sandwiches. Of any kind? Nope. Like if you had a warm chocolate chip cookie with like vanilla ice cream that's in different. the middle? That's not an ice cream sandwich. That's an ice cream sandwich. No, an ice cream sandwich is the, the disgusting brown cookie thing. That you get. On so what we're, we're both saying a cookie with ice cream in the middle. No, like a chocolate chip cookie is different. Like a chocolate a chip witch is different than. Oh, I uh, love a good chip. A, witch. a chip witch is different than this. Okay. I am gonna go with the Jack Jack cookie num num. I'm shocked. So am I. Because your favorite snack is the other one. It's, <laughs> it's not my favorite snack, but it's like a must have snack. But also the Jack Jack cookie has. Also become a must have snack it's so good. for me. Like if I'm in Hollywood Studios, I want to get that. There's and nothing I nothing better than a warm chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, and then when if you go down to the Hollywood Scoops and you get a scoop of ice cream to put on it too, mm-hmm. like you just can't go wrong. Yeah. So good. I've actually had for lunch before a Jack Jack cookie num num with a side of root beer float. Because <laughs> you know life's about balance. Because <laughs> calories don't count in Disney. Calories don't count. It's fine. So, yeah, I feel like I have to go to the Jack Jack. I get more excited to get a Jack Jack cookie than I do the ice cream sandwich. Because you get the ice cream sandwich every time. Maybe that. I do like, though, that you can get an ice cream sandwich anywhere in the parks. Like, at any park, you can find an ice cream sandwich. The Jack Jack cookie is only at Hollywood Studios, which to me makes it lose some points if we're going on a bracket. Like, if they're going head-to-head, that's going to make it lose some points. Yeah. And I do have to sort out some beef in the chat right now. Uh J J Mullen, eighty nine. Uh, Springhouse cookies are better than Gideon's. You're he's wrong. Gideon's Rick, are overrated. Rick is wrong. Gideon's are hard. Gideon's are s- Springhouse are way better. Okay, wait a minute. First of all, it's summer house. Summer house. <laughs> it's a season with a house after it. Second of all, <laughs> you can't say that they're overrated just because you had a cookie you think is better than it. Up until you had that cookie, you thought Gideon's was the best thing ever. So now you just think no, it's the it's second overrated. best no, thing ever. No, it's overrated because people think it's better than, than Summer House. Therefore, I think it's, it's, it's me. I'm people. Gideon's is greater than Summer House, no, in Summer my House opinion. so much better. So, like, the thing is, they're about the same size if you went by, like, the circumference of the cookie. Like, they're both yeah. about this big. A Summer House cookie, I could eat in one sitting. Yeah. I can't eat a Gideon's cookie in one sitting. That's, like, three to four sittings if I'm in it to win it to eat this cookie Mm -hmm. so i feel like because of that gideon's is better because they're around the same price you're getting more for your money and gideon's is just so good and the variety that they have at gideon's i mean there's a lot of variety at summer house don't get me wrong but the variety they had at gideon's like i just don't know if it can be beat but that's not what we're talking about right now that's true we're not right now it's ice cream sandwich (laughs) versus jack jack cookie i just feel like summer house doesn't get the respect (laughs) and and ice cream sandwich Jack Jack Cookie won. Yeah, Jack Jack Cookie. Jack Jack sure. Cookie just beat it. No yeah. Doubt. Oh no, this is probably the hardest one for me. No, it's not. Next we have pineapple upside down cake and poutine. Mm. I thought it was close at first glance, but it's not. It's the pineapple upside down cake with the Dole Whip on the top. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, that was normally if we were doing this, we probably would have classified it with Dole Whip, and it would have been an argument for us as to why Dole yeah. Whip is better. Yes. But so many people sent it in as their favorite snack that I felt like it had to be separate. Mm-hmm. So, pineapple upside down cake with Dole Whip or standard poutine. Poutine. Not even close for me. Not even close. At, at first glance, I was like, oh, this is tough. Then I thought about it for a second. I was like, oh, it's not even close. I, I would take poutine. I'm a salty snack person. I would take poutine over a uh, sweet snack any day. I'm going to take the pineapple upside down cake. Ooh, well... Because I want the sweet snack. Every single listener right now has said poutine, so yes. that's cool. Thanks, guys. I didn't want your help anyway. Here's my logic, though. First of all, I like a sweeter snack, and I love Dole Whip, so the mix of those two. The Dole Whip with the cake is amazing. 
Also, I like a nice crispy French fry. Mm-hmm. And poutine just makes them so soggy. That's fair. like the, I like the, soggy the French fries. You do. <laughs> That's why it doesn't surprise me how much you love poutine. I feel like I find myself eating more of the cheese curds than the poutine. Cheese curds are fantastic. Rather than are so good. the poutine itself. So for me, like rather than like the French fries and the gravy and all that. So for me, I just feel like it's got to be the pineapple upside down cake. Well, it looks like I'm going to win this one because everybody else says poutine as well. Also, we said this isn't seasonal stuff, but I'm going to bring up a seasonal thing. If you have the chance when you're in Epcot around uh, the uh, fall slash winter time, try the Thanksgiving poutine that they have. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if it's the Festival of the Holidays or if it's the Food and Wine Festival. I think it's Food and Wine because I've never been there. Because Festival, Festival of the Ho- Holidays. Uh, yeah, and that's, yeah, you have. We did the have cookie I? for all year. Oh, but that maybe, starts yeah, like it. right after Thanksgiving. So I'm actually I not. Be, I think it might be Food and Wine. Yeah, I think it is. But again, that's a seasonal one. But, that, that's yeah. like, but that's the same idea as the Spring Roll. So there's a variety yeah. of them. It's a, it's a variety. I just I just want to give the give the listeners something to go check out. That one is really good. Is I don't really like good. cranberry sauce, but the cranberry sauce on it like it's really so makes it. <laughs> it like it's like a cranberry jelly. Yeah. It's really good. Poutine one, that one. What's next? Our last one is two classics. Ooh. Buttonheads. I don't know what seeds they were. Probably like seven and ten or something like that. But we got the soft pretzel. And popcorn. Whoa, what did you say they were? It is uh, set like 7 and 10. I they were know. 6 and 11. Oh, I was so close. You were very close. <laughs> All right, so pretzel popcorn was pretzel. sent in as soft pretzel. They clarified. So to me, that means the Mickey or the Simba pretzel. Yes. Because they said the OG soft pretzel. Sorry, let me clarify that. The other option there is popcorn. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I prefer the pretzel. Popcorn's better for, like, standing in line and stuff, but if I'm going to choose one of them, it's going to be the pretzel, probably. I'm really torn here. Because, like... If they still had the flavored popcorn, it might be a discussion for me. Mm. Well, but, they still have the maple one. Yeah, but they had better stuff. They had the buffalo. Epcot. Yeah. Um, so, since they don't have that anymore, I, I'm going to have to go with salt pretzel. Here's where I'm, like, torn on it. Is the popcorn. I think Disney has some of the best popcorn I've ever had in general. Like, their popcorn is just all around delicious. When you buy a popcorn bucket, it's a great deal. It can feed so many people. It's a great snack to munch on while you're standing in line. You can put the lid on it, hop on a ride. It's great. Their pretzels, for some reason when I'm in Disney, are I think they are fantastic. Like, their pretzels, the, that nasty cup of cheese tastes so good. It's all delicious. But, like, realistically, it's really not that great of a pretzel. No, it's not. And But that's because we're spoiled. We're with the from area. the pretzel <laughs> capital of the U.S. I was going to say the world, and I was like, wait, Germany. <laughs> like, the pretzels are not – they're not up to par. But when you're in the park, they are so good. They're just what you want. I think I'm sticking with pretzel. No, I'm going with the popcorn. I like the versatility of it. I like how you can fill a whole bucket with it. And it's compared to other popcorns I've had in the world, I think great popcorn. The pretzel is only good at Disney. <laughs> if I was if I was walking around around here and I got handed that pretzel, I'd be like, what is I'm this? Saying, we're talking about in Disney, so. I know, but like if you're just talking about good food in general, I want it to be like the best I've ever had, and that popcorn's the best I've ever had. So even if you already commented what your vote is, can you please comment it again? We need you to solve this one. Are you team Disney Mickey slash Simba pretzel or team popcorn as the superior the superior snack? You're gonna be so sad. Okay, wait. So we just had a listener comment that Germany uh, pretzels are the best. So Jay Mullen, I'm so sorry. I hate them. Maybe Germany pretzels in actual Germany. I, I had your back on the Gideons. I did. <laughs> I, I I just think I haven't had a fresh one. I think I have. I've had them multiple times, and every single time I'm open-minded, and I think that the pretzel is going to be good, and every single time, it's not. And I just don't get it. I don't understand the hype of the Germany pretzels in Epcot. I really don't. I just think there's too many other things I'd rather eat in Epcot. Well, that too. <laughs> the pretzel at the Baseline Tap House, delicious. The other spot that's really good to get a pretzel that's kind of like you would never think it is Polite Pig. 
Oh, yeah, they do have a good pretzel. Polite Pig has a weirdly good pretzel. It comes with, I think, beer cheese and mustard. We got it, like, by accident one time, and it was really good. So Okay, next comment wins. Doesn't matter if you already commented. Come on, popcorn people. You guys look really pretty today. <laughs> you guys are, like, so cute. There's oh. pretzel! All right! <laughs> so cute. Pretzel for the win. All right, so the winners from this side of the bracket, we are down to the final eight. We have Dole Whip, right? Yes. Jack Jack Nom Nom Cookie, poutine, and a soft pretzel. All right. Let's bring on the next one then. The first one of round two. Spring we... Roll versus Cupcake. A Disney Spring Roll versus a Disney Cupcake. This, this is Who a... would win in a fight? <laughs> Who would win in a fight? I think would be Spring Roll. What would I say? It's pick? beefier. <laughs> it's beefier. Ah, I hate. Mm, I hate that my mind keeps bringing price into it because flavor wise, I like the spring rolls better because again, I'm a salty snack person. I feel like you have to bring the price into it. It's got to be a part of it. But also, if you think about it, like a Disney cupcake is like six or seven dollars. That's not a cheap cupcake. Not a cheap. Cupcake so they're both either. expensive for what they are. Spring roll. I agree. I was going to spring roll okay. as well. Cupcake was a close one because I do, I do like a good cupcake, and like we said before, all Disney cupcakes are delicious. I haven't had a bad one, but the spring rolls are just fantastic. The filling they put in them, the greasiness, just what you need. So I wasn't quite sure which one I wanted to go with, and then my thought was, and the way that my brain worked on this one, this is fun, listeners get a full look into my brain, the way (laughs) my brain worked on this one was that if someone came up to me and was like, hey, you want to bite, and was offering a spring roll, like, no doubt in my mind I'm saying yes. Mm -hmm. If someone came up to me and asked me if I wanted to bite a cupcake, I might question it. Do I want to bite a cupcake right now? Mm, what's the flavor like spring rolls there wouldn't even be a second guess what's a flavor would be more out of excitement than decision making mm-hmm. where with a cupcake it would be out of the decision making so Fair. that's how i feel what's your favorite spring roll someone is asking i do i do like the pepperoni one it's very greasy though i like the flavor of it though that's fair what about you i'm gonna go with the cheeseburger because i agree the pepperoni one's pretty greasy yeah i don't i, I usually mind the grease but it's just, it tastes so good. It tastes like a pizza rolled up in a spring roll. That's the goal. <laughs> wow. They crushed it. Nailed it. Go, Disney, go. <laughs> all right. Spring. I think you did this on purpose. You put all the really good ones on this side. And now I have to decide between my one and two seeds. I didn't put it anywhere. The listeners did. All right. Cinnamon roll. Or Harambe Street Corn. I don't like this game anymore. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> What's your choice? Cinnamon roll. <laughs> Fun fact. Ah, this is the hardest one ever. Fun fact, when cinnamon roll was sent in, they sent it in specifically as the warm, gooey center of the cinnamon roll. That is the best part, obviously. Oh, and then with extra icing. Oh. It is really good. I think I got to go with corn. Really? I could cinnamon eat, roll's currently winning. I could eat listeners. like six corns. I can only eat one cinnamon roll. That's not true. You order two at a time. I did eat two cinnamon rolls before. I can only eat two cinnamon rolls, but I can eat like six corn. <laughs> Okay. And I would, because it's delicious. They are currently tied. They are currently tied. We need one more person to let, to pick. It's a shock, I know. I'm shocking the world right now. But I love a good street corn. And to, to your point, if someone came up to me with a street corn, I would be, I might cry. If they came up to me with a cinnamon roll, I'd be very happy and I would very much enjoy it. But I, I think the, the, the corn... I'd I'd be very happy about. I actually can't believe that corn is beating cinnamon roll right now. That's insane. Uh, it seems that Maya has counted the votes and corn wins. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> I wrote that down, so we're we're rolling with it. It's already been written down. Oh, that was pen. such a tough one. Oh, that Are you was okay? Tough. No. I, I have an easy one for on. you for the next one. Okay, what do we got? We have Dole Whip versus the Jack Jack Num Num Cookie. Num Num Cookie. Num Num Cookie. 
easy. Yeah. In my I, opinion, anyway. I 1,000 percent think that the Dole Whip loses to the Jack Jack Num 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 Cookie. It's a yeah. Jack Jack Cookie Num Num Jack Jack Num Num Cookie. Again, because it's separate. If it was the pineapple upside down, it might be a competition. Yeah, I just think the Jack Jack Num Num Cookie is so good. It's but a regular, giant, warm, chewy cookie. Yeah. Like you can't beat that. Regular classic Dole Whip loses the Num Num Cookie for sure. Wait, so what do you think then? Does Dole Whip as a whole beat Num Num Cookie, if that's what you're saying? If you include Pineapple Upside Down, then maybe. But we're not, because that was a separate thing on the list. So, no. Okay, so you're saying that the Jack Jack Num Num Cookie yes, wins Yes, Jack Jack Num Num Cookie wins, yes. Okay. Executive decision on this one. Yes. Okay. Last one of the semis. Oh, I know this one. Okay. Yeah, this one's easy. Pretzel beat popcorn, right? Yeah. That's stupid. Okay. <laughs> so. The last, our um, last matchup of the semi. Wait, I do have to answer this question. Oh, um, is the Jack Jack Num Num cookie better than the Wookiee <laughs> cookie we had? Everything is better than that Wookiee cookie. From what I've heard, the, that Wookiee cookie was terrible. That so. Wookiee cookie was the worst thing I've ever gotten in Disney. Twice. Wow. Twice, because they gave bad. us a new one, and it was still really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so bad because I knew how good it was supposed to be. Because the first time we got it, it was delicious. And the second time. Now the third time. <laughs> and time fourth was, time. Third time was not no, the charm. <laughs> the fifth time, delicious. So there's really, you never know. It seems to be a common denominator. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a that was not a good one. And they tried to fix it and give us another and it still wasn't a good one. <laughs> but the Jack Jack Num Num cookie, oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Poutine or pretzel? Poutine. Pretzel. Wow. I thought poutine was gonna win by a landslide. No, I don't want soggy French fries. <laughs> I think poutine is good, but oh, yeah, a, a the cliff... listeners voted poutine last time. You didn't even want that one. No, I didn't want poutine to win. I wanted what did it verse? Pineapple upside down. Pineapple upside down cake. Yeah, no, I'm not poutine for sure. I'm not on the poutine, the poutine train. In the lead right now. I, yeah, and our tiebreaker of the listeners right now, they're all saying poutine. Yeah. I don't get it. It's so good. It's good, but it's not great. It's better than a pretzel. And I would love to try poutine in actual Canada, but Disney poutine is good, not great. I just don't want soggy French fries. And the Disney fries are soggy. That's fair. Now, if I had a nice and crispy fry that even even after all the gravy and stuff was on it, it still was like a nice crispy fry. I think that would be so perfect. Uh, No, definitely poutine. It's delicious. Fine. I'm only going to agree with you because it looks like the listeners are agreeing with you. So. Poutine is winning this one, unfortunately. But I do oh, think yeah. pretzel. Because what is better than getting a Simba pretzel, putting cheese on your thumb, and putting it over the forehead? I could going, barely convince you that pretzel beat popcorn. Simba. <laughs> yeah, the pretzel dominates. And now, want, and now you want me to, to back you up on this one? Yes, because no pretzel thanks. dominates <laughs> over poutine. No thanks. Look, it looks like I'm going to draw you a picture. What? Pretzel. Wait, I got to get this the right order. It's the right one. No, wait. Never mind. I'm not gonna draw a picture because I can't figure out the right order. I don't remember algebra. <laughs> Less than. That's the greater than symbol. They wrote really fast, so it's bad handwriting. So to break it down for you, don't look at that part. <laughs> this is probably too far away for everyone who's watching to see. But popcorn is greater than pretzel, but pretzel is greater than poutine. <laughs> <laughs> No, popcorn just got knocked out too early. <laughs> it's poutine. All right, fine. We have our final four. What a weird final four. It is a very strange final four. I just feel but like... But I'm excited. Cause that's because I feel like I got outnumbered in all, all of these, and they are all <laughs> yours. <laughs> they are all so good. I feel like the listeners were just here for you this we week. Have, we have a suite on the final four. So final four, for those that have been paying attention. I know what I want to win. We have... The Spring Roll, our number one seed, is still in the running. We have Street Corn from Harambe Market, a sleeper, if you will. The Jack Jack Nom Nom Cookie and Poutine. So, our first matchup. Spring Roll versus Street Corn. What do you think? Uh, First of all, I do agree with you that the corn is the underdog or the sleeper, whatever your word you use. Yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling... I'm going to be sad on this one. 
I'm going with the spring roll. Yeah. I'm going with the number one seed. I'm I'm letting it work its way through here. I had a feeling I was going to go with corn. But based on the listeners, it looks like I'm losing this one anyway. Because literally nobody has said corn yet. But it's so good. Corn is delicious. But the variety you get from the spring rolls, it can't be beat. And it's become such like a cult following snack in Magic Kingdom. It should be corn. I get it. Except for the price. The price does kill Mm -hmm. me. Even Jason Kelsey says the spring rolls are the greatest thing in Magic Kingdom. It's because he could afford them. If she, that's true. <laughs> because he didn't even look at the price. He just swiped that, that Eagles credit card. Exactly. That, what's a really good credit card? Like a Diamond Amex or oh, something? the black card. The one that's like heavy when you pick it up. Like that's what Jason Kelsey handed them. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He probably didn't hand it to them. His assistant <laughs> handed them that card. His wife. No, I think she would need just as much covering as he does. She has her own fan base. Yeah, she does. Kylie yeah. Kelsey is her own her own thing. <laughs> All right, Spring Rolls wins. Spring Rolls kicked butt on that one. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ed. Now you can't say they were here for me anymore. They're here for the snacks. All, All right. right. Last round. Last one before the, before the, the championship. Finals. Jack Jack Num Num Cookie versus... Poutine. I think the listeners are going to have to decide this one. Well, give me your opinion. I'm going poutine. Why? Because it's delicious and there's cheese curds and gravy and french fries. I'm going Jack Jack Num Num Cookie because it's delicious and it's warm and (laughs) gooey and chocolate chip, which is amazing. Let's see what the what the listeners think. It's definitely going to have to be a listener decided one. So far, it's fifty fifty. It is fifty fifty. Jack Jack. So earlier, I was kind of arguing with the fact that when it was versing ice cream sandwich, uh-huh. the fact that you could get it ice cream sandwich every anywhere, but yeah. you can only get the num num cookie in Hollywood Studios, which mm-hmm. is very similar to the poutine that you can only usually get in Epcot. Oh no, I'm sorry. There is poutine at Disney Springs, but. I kind of think that the fact that you can only get the cookie in Hollywood Studios almost makes it more desirable. You can't change your reasoning. No, but like, now. <laughs> like I'm just thinking, like the fact that it's only there is like makes you want it you more. You can't make the exclusivity be a negative and then change it to a positive. It can absolutely just you want it to no. Win. It's all about perspective. It can be a negative and it can be a positive. <laughs> There's three of us here. Does that count as three times? Which one did you say? <laughs> if you said no, cookie, cookie. Cookie is winning. Cookie is winning. If you said cookie, we'll talk. Cookie definitely won. Yeah, I think that the Jack Jack Num Num cookie is just too good. And honestly, I have a feeling that the listener is about to pick the overall winner. Uh-huh. Because in Spring Rolls versus Jack Jack Num Num cookie... I'm going Jack Jack Num Num cookie. And I'm going Spring Rolls. Saw that coming. So... Let's get your help one more time, guys. Spring Rolls, Jack Jack Num Num Cookie. Finals of the Snack Draft. State your case. Why do you think it should be Spring Rolls? Uh, they're versatile and they're delicious. Why do you think it should be Jack Jack Num Num Cookie? Come on, you got to get me more than that. <laughs> you... what, what else is there to say? They're, they have multiple delicious flavors. And that's pretty much all you need. See, I think I should win because I'm about to actually articulate and, an argument. And, and you can eat them on the go. Jack Jack Num Num Cookie, you got to stand there and eat. No, you absolutely can eat a Jack Jack Num Num Cookie no, on the go. All you have it. to do is not peel the it. side wrapper a little bit and then you pull it apart and you can totally pop it in your mouth on the go. You can't enjoy it though. The Jack Jack Num Num Cookie, the price is not bad for what you're getting. It's a giant cookie. There are so many ways to enjoy it. You can enjoy it hot. You can, you let, can let it sit for a little bit, let it cool down, eat it nice and cold, eat it later, stick it in a Ziploc bag and have it later. The... With the spring rolls, if you were to do that, would get nice and greasy and gross. The They're jack- already greasy and gross. No, they'd get really <laughs> greasy, like like wet greasy, like would kill a Ziploc bag greasy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly think, I just feel like the Jack Jack No-No cookie is superior. It's so delicious. I think, it, I think it comes down to whether you prefer a salty or a sweet snack. It does. Which, for me, that really depends on the moment. That's but fair. in this moment, I want a cookie. 
Okay, we'll get you a cookie. But I wouldn't be upset if someone handed me a spring roll either. But I wouldn't be <laughs> upset if someone handed me a cookie. So I'm really torn there. You know what I mean? All right. But I did count the votes, and spring rolls did beat Jack Jack Num Num cookies. Woo! So that's number one boring. Seed. Number one seed won. Well, you didn't want corn to make it, so we could have had a Cinderella story. but No, because no, I think the Jack Jack cookie would have beat the corn. I don't know about that. I think it would have. Corn, corn is... It's the classic underdog story. Corn? Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> it, it's it's delicious, and you just don't think about it. Like you, you don't expect it to, and it just comes out of nowhere, and just takes that takes that spot from you. I feel like you're talking more romantically about corn than you've ever talked about me. That's not true. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> you're a cheese ball. Go really well on poutine. Love a good cheese curd, though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Not as much as I love a good chocolate chip cookie. But our winner for the say. snack draft, Spring Rolls. Spring Rolls are the superior Walt Disney World snack. So, before we close this out, I do have one question for you, though. Okay, let's hear it. What on this list would have beat Spring Rolls if it was placed with it from the, fir- from the get-go? Corn. Besides corn. Like, something that Probably it Probably cinnamon roll. Okay. I think cinnamon roll and corn are the only two that would have beaten the spring rolls. Okay. Just curious. Yeah. Because I hate when the, when the number one seed wins. So what about you? <laughs> Jack Jack Num Num Cookie. Besides that one. Um, I think Jack Jack Num Num Cookie, a Rice Krispie. Oh, a Rice Krispie. Okay. Popcorn, honestly, might have beat it in my brain. Wow. Yeah. Or the pineapple upside down cake. Poutine would have beaten it for me, too. Yeah. But that's not how the game works. This is how the game works, so this is what we got. So the number one seed came out on top. It happens. It happens. It happens. Okay, so that is all, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you had a great time. If you enjoyed what you heard, if you want to be a part of it next time or listen to us live, we do do this randomly. And sometimes we just go live on Instagram for fun. And if people are liking it, we're going to do it more often. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. We are at Spill the D Podcast. On TikTok, we are at Spill the D Pod. And if you like what you heard, if you thought it was fun, give us some stars, please. We love the stars. The reviews that you leave help more people find our podcast. And what more can we ask for than that? So thank you. Word of mouth, also great. We know that's how a lot of people find it. So thank you guys so much. But that's all we have for this week. So until next time, we will see you at the castle.